Welcome back to the Tweaking Tools series. This is episode eight, and today we're going deep, like really deep, into Windows 11's network stack. If you've ever felt input delay in online games, or noticed that your ping looks fine but still feels inconsistent, this episode's for you. We're talking about TCP congestion algorithms, packet offloading, and latency buffers, all the little background systems that Windows uses to manage network traffic but that aren't optimized for gaming at all. By default, Windows tries to make your connection reliable, not responsive. We're going to flip that logic safely so your system prioritizes low latency and consistency instead of buffering. And just like always, every single change here is safe, tested, and fully reversible. Let's jump in. Step one, clean network start and baseline reset. Before applying any tweaks or adjustments, it's best to begin with a completely clean network slate. Old TCP IP configurations, lingering DNS entries, or outdated WinSock parameters can interfere with new settings and cause inconsistent performance. Open Command Prompt Administrator and run the following commands one by one. These commands perform a deep reset of your network stack, clearing out any corrupted TCP parameters misconfigured driver data or stale DNS cache fragments that could disrupt packet routing or delay connections. Once you've run them, restart your PC to apply the resets fully. After the reboot, your system will be working from a stable, factory-clean network baseline, ready for precise tuning and testing. To revert, simply run the same commands again they'll restore the default network behavior automatically. Step two, optimize TCP parameters, registry edits. Now we'll improve how Windows handles network congestion, NCK timing, and connection delays. These tweaks help packets travel faster and more consistently, reducing latency spikes and making connections feel more responsive. Open registry editor and go to Create the following D-word entries. TCP ACK frequency. Value is 1. Forces Windows to send acknowledgments, ACKs, faster, lowering latency during small data transfers. TCP no delay. Value 1. Disables Nagel's algorithm so packets are sent immediately instead of waiting to group multiple together. TCP DEL ACK ticks. Value 0. Removes Windows built-in delay before sending ACKs, reducing small timing lags. TCP Timed Wait Delay. Value 30. Shortens how long Windows keeps closed connections in a waiting state, improving connection reuse speed. Enable PMTU Black Hole Detection. Value 0. Turns off Path MTU Black Hole Detection an old feature that's unnecessary on modern networks and can sometimes slow things down. Then go to Create if missing TCP no delay value 1 applies the instant send behavior system-wide improving responsiveness across all apps not just browsers or games. Expect more consistent ping and smoother response times especially in online games or live connections. Revert, delete the added entries or set their values to zero. Restart your PC to apply the changes. Step three, advanced network offloading and interrupt tweaks. Modern network interface cards are designed to offload certain networking tasks directly to the hardware to reduce CPU usage. While this helps in general workloads, some of these offloads can add small but noticeable delays in latency-sensitive scenarios like competitive gaming, live streaming, or real-time communication. In this step, we'll refine Windows TCP settings to minimize those micro delays and ensure smoother, more stable packet handling. Open Command Prompt Administrator and run the following commands. What these do. Disables ECN Explicit Congestion Notification. Prevents ping spikes caused by congestion feedback loops from routers. 
disables TCP timestamps, reduces small packet latency and CPU handling time for each acknowledgement, keeps RSS receive side scaling enabled, distributes packet processing across multiple CPU cores for smoother multitasking and improved throughput, sets auto-tuning to highly restricted, stops windows from dynamically resizing buffer values during heavy network activity, which helps maintain steady performance mid-game. Step 4. Disable power saving on network adapters. Windows sometimes throttles your NIC to save energy, which adds tiny delays to packet transmission. We'll disable that behavior. Open Device Manager, Network Adapters, right-click your main Ethernet or Wi-Fi card, Properties, Power Management tab, and uncheck Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Then open Command Prompt, Admin, and paste This ensures your NIC runs full-time at stable clocks, improving consistency during long matches or downloads. Step 5. Optional NIC Driver Level Tune-Up, Interrupt Moderation plus Coalescing. For wired users especially, interrupt moderation can introduce unnecessary input delay. Here's how to tweak it properly. Open Device Manager Network Adapters, Your Adapter, Properties, Advanced tab. Look for Interrupt Moderation, Disable. Receive Side Scaling, RSS, Enable. Large Send Offload, IPv4 or IPv6, Disable. Energy Efficient Ethernet, Disable. Flow Control, Disable, if on wired Ethernet. Click OK when done. These settings stop the adapter from grouping packets and forcing the CPU to wait for batches, meaning fewer delays per packet and tighter response in-game. Revert. Just toggle them back to Enabled or Auto. Step 6. Validation and Testing. Let's confirm your tweaks worked. Run these commands. Net sh int tcp show global. Look for receive side scaling state as enabled, ECN capability as disabled, timestamps as disabled, chimney offload state as disabled. Then test. Open CMD and run ping google.com t. Check for consistent latency with less fluctuation. For advanced users, Run ping plotter or latency mon to monitor network ISR and DPC delays. In game, look for smoother hit registration and fewer random ping spikes. And that's your deep Windows 11 network stack optimization. The stuff most gamers never even realize exists. This doesn't just reduce ping. It stabilizes your frame pacing, improves hit registration, and removes those tiny spikes that make gameplay feel off even when your paying looks fine. Everything we did here is reversible and totally safe. It just brings Windows closer to what competitive network tuning tools do behind the scenes. In the next episode, we'll be tackling DPC latency balancing and CPU interrupt timing, the other half of low latency optimization. If you noticed smoother gameplay, more consistent ping, or better recoil timing, you've just unlocked a huge piece of your system's performance puzzle.